Welcome to the True Guy Globe Hub. Brief updates subscribe for the bell icon for updateds, one that could affect millions. Just off the coast of the Philippines, a silent threat is building the Manila Trench. This underwater canyon is a massive fault line storing immense geological energy. Scientists say it's not a question of if, but when, this energy will be unleashed. The Manila Trench is a loaded weapon aimed at one of the world's most densely populated regions. A megathrust earthquake here could trigger a catastrophic tsunami and devastate Metro Manila, home to over 14 million people. Buildings could collapse, infrastructure could fail, and essential services could be severed in seconds. This is not speculation, it's based on decades of scientific research and mounting data. The real question is, are we ready? An earthquake from the Manila Trench could send waves crashing ashore within minutes, leaving little time for escape. Disaster planners are deeply concerned and every resident in the region must understand the risk. Our goal is to give you the facts and the tools to protect yourself and your family. We'll break down the science, show you what could happen, and outline concrete steps for preparation. This isn't about panic, it's about empowerment. Knowledge is your first line of defense. Understanding the risk is the first step to reducing it. The threat is immense but not insurmountable. With preparation, education, and collective action, lives can be saved. The time to listen and act is now. Stay with us as we uncover the science, the risks, and the steps you can take. The Manila Trench is stirring. Are you ready? Let's begin. What is the Manila Trench and why is it so dangerous? It's where two tectonic plates meet. The South China Sea Plate is forced beneath the Philippine Sea Plate in a subduction zone. Imagine pushing a heavy rug under another stress builds. The plates lock and pressure mounts for centuries. When the plates finally slip, all that energy is released in a violent megathrust earthquake. The trench plunges over 5,000 meters deep, storing centuries of stress. When the overlying plate snaps back it displaces a massive volume of water generating a tsunami. These waves can travel at jetliner speeds reaching the coast in minutes. The Manila Trench poses a dual threat, violent shaking and a devastating tsunami. For Luzon's coastal communities warning time is terrifyingly short. Understanding this process, a stuck plate, a sudden snap, a massive wave, is key to grasping the urgency. The giant is sleeping but scientists warn it may soon awaken, preparation is our only defense. This isn't guesswork, it's science. FIVOLX and global experts monitor the Manila Trench with advanced instruments, tracking stress and land deformation. The trench has been quiet for centuries, a seismic gap that signals danger, not safety. Every year without a quake adds more energy making the next rupture potentially catastrophic. Computer models predict a magnitude 8.0 or higher event, with severe shaking and tsunami risk for Metro Manila and the western coast. The evidence is clear, the risk is real, and the consequences could be dire. Scientists are sounding the alarm, urging governments and citizens to prepare. The responsibility to act is now in our hands. Picture a normal afternoon in Metro Manila then, the ground begins to sway, the shaking intensifies, lasting minutes not seconds. Glass shatters, buildings groan and older structures collapse. Bridges and overpasses fail, paralyzing the city. Power and water are cut off, communication disappears. Along the coast, the sea suddenly recedes, a final desperate warning. Minutes later, a wall of water crashes ashore, obliterating everything in its path. The tsunami is not a single wave, but a churning mass of debris and destruction. Emergency services are overwhelmed, hospitals are damaged and flooded with casualties. Millions are displaced, injured, or trapped. The disaster is national in scale, a humanitarian crisis in minutes. This is not exaggeration. It's the scenario scientists warned could happen. The Manila Trench could unleash devastation on a scale the nation has never seen. The only way to reduce the toll is to prepare now. Imagine the aftermath, darkness, chaos, and a desperate need for help. The time to act is before the shaking starts. This is the day we must prepare for. The science is clear, the risk is real. Will we be ready? The choice is ours. We've seen the devastation a megathrust earthquake and tsunami can cause. In 2004, Sumatra's quake and tsunami killed over 230,000 people. Many had no warning or understanding of the threat. The lesson warning systems and public education save lives. In 2011, Japan's magnitude 9.0 quake showed even the best prepared nations can be overwhelmed. Japan's strong buildings saved lives, but the tsunami exceeded expectations, causing a nuclear disaster. The takeaway never underestimate nature and always prepare for the worst. For the Philippines the warning time will be even shorter. 
The earthquake itself is the signal to evacuate, there may be no official alert. Multiple layers of defense, strong infrastructure, drills, and public awareness are essential. The echoes of Sumatra and Japan are clear. Preparation is survival. We must learn from their tragedies before it's too late. When the Manila Trench ruptures, Metro Manila and the western coast of Luzon will be ground zero. Metro Manila's soft soils amplify shaking. Buildings can tilt, sink, or collapse. Critical infrastructure, power, water, transport, could fail simultaneously, paralyzing the city. The dense population makes rescue and recovery even harder. Along the coast, the tsunami will strike within minutes, destroying homes, boats, and livelihoods. Salt water will poison farmland, crippling local economies for years. Coastal communities, often with fewer resources, will be hardest hit. Evacuation may be hampered by damaged roads and bridges. The combination of intense shaking and a rapid tsunami creates an almost unparalleled danger. The scope of the threat demands urgent action. You are not helpless. Preparedness starts with you. Make a family plan. Know where to take cover, how to evacuate, and where to meet if separated. Practice earthquake drills regularly. Prepare a go-bag for each family member with water, food, first aid, flashlight, radio, documents, and cash. Secure your home anchor heavy furniture, strap down appliances, and move heavy items to lower shelves. Know how to turn off your gas valve. If you live near the coast, memorize evacuation routes and practice reaching higher ground. The earthquake is your tsunami warning. Don't wait for an alert. If you're in a high-rise, know the building's emergency plan. Roads may be impassable. Plan accordingly. These steps are simple, but they save lives. Preparedness transforms fear into action. Start today. Your survival depends on it. Every step you take now makes a difference. Preparedness is a shared responsibility. Government must invest in resilient infrastructure, enforce building codes, and mark evacuation routes. Public information must reach everyone, through TV, radio, social media, and community campaigns. Regular drills build muscle memory and test emergency plans. First responders need training and resources to act when disaster strikes. Community leaders must organize local drills and know their most vulnerable residents. Businesses should ensure employee safety and have recovery plans. True resilience is built when everyone, government, community, and individuals, works together. your family, your nation depend on it. Prepare today, survive tomorrow. The Manila Trench is stirring, will you be ready?